My name's Mike Lynch. I'm semi-retired. I'm a sports promoter from Bayshore, Long Island. I actually run a very big softball league up there. And about two years ago, I saw my nephew in an all-star game in New York at the Boomer Esiason Classic. And kind of got this feeling that I may want to try to give this a shot. And uh, I came down last year. I spoke to Calvin Leona, Coach Givens, looked at a bunch of practices, took in some games. And before I left last April, I asked him if it would be okay if I came out next year. Now, they didn't know how old I was. They said, sure, you can come down, and you'll be probably 20 years older than everybody else. I said, Coach, I'll be 40 years older than everybody else. It has just been a wonderful experience for me. The players are, have just been so supportive and so friendly, and the coaches and the owner, I could not ask for a better situation. For one thing, I built a base almost 40 years ago. I've never been out of shape, but this is something completely different. The first hit was uh, quite a, a wallop. It was a guy who came off the edge on a punt in uh, Orlando, and I think he was about 260. And basically, next thing I knew, I'm on my back, but he didn't block the punt. So, so far, I've accomplished everything as far as not messing up, and that's what counts. I played football as a kid, Sandlots. I played football at Bayshore High School, played on a very good undefeated football team. I walked on at East Carolina in 1967, had the great pleasure of playing with George Whitley, the first African-American to ever play at East Carolina. My main thing is to be a great teammate. I mean, when I first started this, I ran a, four, a, a 7 one in the combine. Uh, they're not going to put me out there on the flank unless they're up by 25, 30 points like they were today. To me, it's just being a great teammate. That is really the, that is what I want to be, the best teammate I possibly can be and whatever I can do on the field for my team, let's go. I've uh, been lead block on two punts that were ran for first downs. And uh, that so far has been, you know, everyone when I came off the field was jumping all over me. That was, you know, blocking's one thing, but you know, blocking for a punt that goes for a first down twice, doesn't get better than that. Everybody would like to get in the time machine and go back 40 years and do something that they love to do. I'm almost getting emotional speaking about it. Uh, that's why, I mean, the, to be able to, to do that and relive it is just a wonderful thing.